In this video, I'm going to be going over a complete beginner's guide for Hell Let Loose. This video is made for anyone who wants to learn some new things, or for people who just joined the game and need some help. And if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful in any way, consider subscribing as it does keep you updated for future videos. Alright, so the very first thing that you're going to see after joining the server is that you have an option to choose one of two sides. The teams shown are based on the map, and the teams available are based on how many people are on each side. After joining one of the sides, you will see these bars with names. Each of the names are a different squad that's led by a squad leader. The squads are also split into three sections, infantry, armor, and recon. If the game just started, then there will be no squads until someone creates one. Infantry squads basically do everything on foot, and their main objective is to capture or defend the next objective, which we'll get to. Infantry squads can have up to 6 people in a squad and have 9 different roles. First and most important role is an officer. If you hear someone calling it a squad leader, it's because it's the same thing. It's your job to lead your squad and place down outposts, which we'll get to in a bit. As a rifleman, it's your job to stay with your team and fight through other enemy infantry squads. All of the classes also have different items and weapons you can unlock based on your class level. Assault is made for mostly close combat ranged and trench combat. They are also great at clearing enemies out of bases and pushing. An automatic rifleman is pretty similar to the rifleman, except it uses automatic weapons only and is better used for mid-range combat. A medic's role is to stay with your team and support them by reviving and healing them while also taking out enemies. The support role is important to your team because you provide them with supplies. Supplies are used to build spawn points and defenses, which we'll get to later. As a machine gunner, it is the king of suppressing the enemies while also mowing down large groups of squads. As an anti-tank, your role is to take out enemy vehicles with your rocket or satchel while also using grenades on other enemy soldiers. And finally, as an engineer, it is your job to build defenses, traps, repair friendly vehicles, and the most important, build nodes, which we'll also go over soon. As a tank squad, you have two different roles. As a tank commander, your job is to lead the tank by spotting the field and leading your crewmen. As a crewman, you can either drive the tank, shoot and load the cannon, or become a turret gunner. And finally, the sniper squads. Just like the tank squads, you have two different roles, a spotter and a sniper. As a spotter, you need to spot other enemies for your sniper using binoculars or just by pushing up. As a sniper, your job is to listen to your spotter and shoot from a hidden point. Hell Let Loose has two modes that you can play, Warfare and Offensive. For Warfare, when you first join a new game, you can only spawn at one of your HQs, which are like the base spawns. From there, you can either get into a transport truck or a supply truck and wait until the beginning game timer ends. If you're in a transport truck, you would drive straight to the middle point. That point is neutral in the beginning of a game and is the first point that the two teams fight over to capture. The team that captures it is now the team that has it as its defending point, while the team that loses it now has to capture it. Both sides would then have objectives that they need to defend to keep the other team from taking it and have an objective that they need to take from the other team. The goal of warfare is to push the enemy all the way back to their HQ by capturing all of their objectives in order. If you're in a supply truck, you would drop off the supplies in a safe spot so the enemies won't find them and then start building nodes. Nodes are the items that generate the supplies for officers and commanders to build garrisons. Garrisons are the most common type of spawn points that your whole team can use. They have a 40 second cooldown and up to 8 can be made at a time. Outposts are another common way of spawning. Each officer has a watch that is used to place down an outpost for only your squad. Hell Let Loose also has half tracks that are used as spawn points. They can be driven from place to place to be better hidden and also destroyed like other vehicles. Airheads are another type of spawn point that are used in the game but aren't that common. They are usually used for sneaking around the points. Also if an enemy gets close enough to any spawn then you can't spawn there until they leave and this works the same for any spawn. To destroy spawn point you need to get close enough and then you'll see an option that lets you hold a button to dismantle it. Having a mic and using it is very important in Hell Let Loose. The game depends on teamwork and especially with your squad, which makes it important. Some of the reasons could be flanking an objective, telling your team where the enemy are, asking for resources, and much more. In offensive, one team would start from their HQ and attack, 
while the other team has to defend all of its points. The defending team has some extra time to prepare its defenses, while the attacking team has to wait some time until they can spawn. Also, the attacking team doesn't have any garrisons or extra spawn points to help them, but the defending team already has garrisons set up at the objectives. Another thing is that if the attacking team captures an objective, the defending team cannot take it back. The defending team wins by holding off the attacking team for at least 30 minutes, while the attacking team wins by pushing the enemy back all the way. Artillery is one of the most important features in the game. You can find the artillery in your HQ. Artillery guns have two seats that you can pick from, a loader and a gunner. To use an artillery gun, make sure that where you're going to shoot is clear for friendlies. After that, mark the area on your map and make sure to remember the distance from it. Then adjust the elevation to make sure the numbers match the distance while also changing the direction. 